On today's episode, I'm putting a Acura RDX on the frame rack. Now I could also do a live pull. I'm up in the morning like five in the morning, I'm already on. So when you just getting out of the box, boy, I'm round in the cone. This ain't a persona. I do this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 81 of Inside the Body Shop. Hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. So I spent pretty much the whole day on one job, an Acura RDX. I had to put on the frame rack, hitting the left front, getting a bunch of structure replaced on it. I had to put it in clamps and measure it. I'm going to go in depth in that in this episode, so stay tuned. I'll uh, show you exactly how that whole system works. I have had some questions on it recently, so I wanted to walk through that system, exactly how that measurement system works. Then uh, I got interrupted about halfway through that job. I got interrupted with a car that we were taking care of the customer. It was getting an alternator put on it. It was a job we fixed, but they wanted to replace the alternator. I don't know the whole story behind it. but And our mechanic's on vacation this week, so... I told him I would take care of it. I hate doing mechanical work, not something I like to do every day, but I took care of it, got it done, but that was a little interruption, slowed me down on this job. So, and then I got back to the job and I started welding on it, but that was my day today. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure you click that share button. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Check out my day. All right, on to the first one of the day, I have a Acura RDX. This one got hit in this corner right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in clamps and measure it because I think all of this getting hit might have knocked the front end over a little bit. So I might have to pull the whole front end over. Either way, I need to pull this area, but I wanna see where the frame rails and everything are sitting. So I'm gonna put it in clamps and measure it and then make some pulls. And then, and then I will go ahead and start cutting it apart. It's gonna be getting new structure, new upper rail, this area and this bottom section right here. So the first thing I have to do here is I have to go to five points in the center section of the car and the computer tells me, gives me options of points and that will center the measuring machine to the car so it knows exactly where the car is sitting. system knows exactly where the car is sitting so now I can come up to the front here where I believe everything has shifted and check it and it will tell me exactly how far off it is and what I need to do as far as pulling and squaring the front end now this shows me it shows me what kind of tips to use I have an assortment of all the different caps and tips and everything and then when I come over here for that for this specific point it wants me to use a 90 degree with this six millimeter tip and it really reads how long the tube is that you put in there so i go to this point and it will know exactly where that should be at Alright, it's not as far off as I thought it was. Most of my points are within five millimeters, which is still off slightly, but I believe I believe whenever I pull this, I'll get those last couple millimeters out of it. 
this is over about 15 millimeters so I'm gonna see how far when I pull this see how far that brings this and then I might have to actually grab the frame rail uh, and move it as well we'll see as I pull it Looks like this first pull already got both of these points over five millimeters are actually almost perfect now and then let's see whenever I go up here this part ripped loose though so I'm gonna grab this area right here and give it a little more pull and I think it'll be perfect after that chance this might tear out but I'm not too worried about this part because it's getting replaced anyway now I could also do a live pull I could have this leave this on here while I pull and then I could watch my numbers and watch it move as I pull it Now I'm going to put in some weld tube primer anywhere where I'm going to be spot welding. Honda Acura, they don't want you using it where you MIG weld, but they still want you to use it anywhere where you're doing spot welding at. Well, I got this one ready to weld together, but I got stopped because I have to put an alternator on this van. This is one we did recently, and the alternator's bad, and we're going to take care of it for them. So, got to get this done today. So, that's going to be on hold for now. Our mechanic's actually on vacation this week, so they asked me if I would take care of it. Got to get it done. Come on, baby. Almost out. Here it is. I'm going to make sure everything looks the same on them. And go ahead and get the new one in. Looks right. There we go. Getting there. Go ahead and get the bolts ran in with this. And then I'll snug them up by hand. Alright, back to this RDX. I'm going to pull this extender back off and this one's about ready to start welding together. 